Hello, it's me again, KP, with another quick video in Python on how we go about flattening a two-dimensional array and also reshaping that one-dimensional array back into a two-dimensional array. Now, you may be asking, well, why is that important? Well, it's used a lot in image classification, machine learning, and this is how they go about it. Now, my presentation today will be a very, very rudimentary introduction to machine learning how they flatten an image and how they reshape an image the reason why you want to flatten a, a two-dimensional image now let's pretend that this is our two-dimensional image well it is a two-dimensional array here and in here i have an image of the letter f in here let's pretend that this is a full image and uh, that looks something like this here. You can see it a little bit better visualized in this um, text file. Yeah, you can see the F in there represented by all the ones. And zero represents just space. All right, and let's continue. This is a better representation of, of what I'm trying to accomplish with the two dimensional array. This is a one, this is a string, this is in string format. You can do it like this, but it's a little bit more complicated to do it like this, to process it. Now, first we have to flatten the image. Now, you take an image, the camera takes an image, it has to flatten out that image into a one-dimensional array before it is processed. And this uh, for loop here, this double for loop does exactly that. It takes the first row, pulls out the first row, then we can take each index in that row and add it to a list. We're adding it to list one here. We're just going to append the value. And that's it for flattening, flattening the array. And you can do this for any size two-dimensional array. All right. And here in this code block here, we are reshaping the image. So basically, if we want to present the image onto the screen for viewing, we have to reshape that one-dimensional array back into a two-dimensional array. And this is how we go about it. Again, it's an inner for loop here. The shape size is 28 by 28. That is what this image is. This entire block is 28 by 28. So we want to get back that block. We were shaping it 28 by 28. And we're using this really interesting formula here. This is very interesting. It's, it's how you go about reshaping a image. Very, very simple, very straightforward, very elegant. Uh, it is row times the width of the array plus the column. And with that, you can get back any array that you want. As you see, it's a 28 by 28. So we want the rows to be 28 wide and the, well, rows to be 28 deep, sorry. And the columns 28 wide, and that will give us back our 28 by 28 um, array. Then once we get, once we get the, we get each row first, we get each row that's what this line is doing. It's getting each row and appending it to list number two. And once once the row is complete, then we append list two back into list three. And that would be the first row of our two-dimensional array. And then we keep doing it. We go back up here. Here it goes back to let's say we start off at row zero, then we go to we'll be working next on row one, then it's going to do it all over again, then it's come back up, we'll be working on row two, all the way up to 28. That's what this little block of code is doing. All right, let's see it in action. Very simple. File save and run. So we can see here the first print. Uh, let me see if I can put this to the screen. The first print is basically the one-dimensional array. When we flattened out the two-dimensional array, we got the one-dimensional array here. 
that's our one dimensional array and then we reshaped it again so we got back our you can see here our letter F if you can look really hard just squint your eyes a bit you can see the letter F now it's important in machine learning this part is important in machine learning it's important to get that uh, to basically serialize your two-dimensional array and then it goes into a method called a fit method and then the fit method works out some parameters that best explain um, this that best explain this um, what should I say sequence that best explain this this sequence so that once it sees it once it learns this sequence it would know that if I see this sequence of ones in uh, in this range and more here and more down here in this area and more here and it will learn that hey if I see this pattern then that probably is the letter F and it will give it a score. It will say, hey, I'm 80% confident or 90% confident that this is a letter F. And that is basically how image classification works in machine learning. There's a lot more that goes into it because you have uh, something called a fit method. I'm not going to be getting into the, that stuff today, but basic on the lowest level, of classification image classification is the taking a two-dimensional image and flattening it out feeding it into your fit method and then the fit method gives it a uh, learns what it is and then later on you'll be able to classify your classification method be able to say give it a score or something like that all right thank you i hope you enjoy that very small very tiny introduction to image classification in machine learning all right and i can also do this this is better done in c or c plus plus is much faster and to me the arrays handling arrays in c plus plus and and um and c c plus plus and c and maybe even java which i don't like at all is a little bit more intuitive because you have your rows and your columns. You you deal directly with rows and columns. All right, thank you very much and have a great day. Bye.